Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So on this video, I'm going to be doing my fairy book haul. So these are all the books that I ended up picking up in February. I plan to hopefully do a monthly book haul every single month. Because uh, I do get quite a bit of books every month. So hopefully I can keep up with that. So let's start off with the books that I got from Book of the Month. Um, I'm also not going to tell you none of the summaries for any of these books. Just because I don't know what they're about, to be honest. I just like going into my books blindly so yeah so the first one that i ended up getting from book of the month is the writing retreat by julia bartz and i just love this cover so i'm very excited for this one and i like stories where there's authors writers involved so um, i'm excited to read this one the next book that i have is really good actually by monica Huxley, and i actually did read this one already and i did not <laughs> enjoy it um I didn't like this book, but I ended up buying it because the cover, well, I bought it before I read it, but obviously um, the cover is beautiful, but I did not enjoy this book, um, but it's beautiful, the cover, so there's, at least it's, there's that. Um, we have The Last Tale of the Flower Bride by Roshki Rush Shosky. Um, I don't know. I know this is her... Um, debut adult novel she written YA books in middle grade I'm pretty sure but I'm excited to read this one and I love the cover the cover is pretty stunning then we have a um, Georgie All Along by Kay Claiborne um, this is romance and contemporary fiction I'm pretty sure um, so yeah I'm excited to read this one and then the last book of the month book that I have is The Shards by Brent S. Aston Ellis. Um, this one is very, very thick. It's almost, um, it's almost 600 pages. So, yeah, this one is a very thick one. And hopefully I can read it either in March or in April. But I'm excited to read this one. I'm pretty sure this is the author of, um, American Psycho. So, yeah. So, I'm excited to read this one. Um, so hopefully I get to this one pretty soon. And then I have two copies of God Killer by Hannah Kenner. Uh, these are the Illumicrate editions. I got two editions. I somehow ended up with two copies of the January box for some reason, even though I only have one subscription, but they sent me two. So I'm stuck with two. I'm probably gonna get um, either sell it or give it to one of my friends, even though, um, I don't know, but we'll see. But I have two for now. Um, then I have Glitterland by Alexis Hall. Um, I enjoyed Boyfriend Material and Husband Material by this author. So I'm intrigued to pick up more books by them. Um, they have quite a few books releasing this year. Um, I know some of them are... Like this one is was in the indie published. And then it just got picked up by a publisher. So yeah. But I'm excited. <laughs> Um, and then the next two I got from Ollie's, uh, which is like a store that sells things for pretty cheap. But I ended up finding The Raven Boy, um, The Raven King by Maggie Steve Potter, and also Follow Me to the Ground. I really love the cover to this one. I have no, no idea what this one's about, but it's pretty short. Um, but I love the cover. And these were, this one was $4, and this one was $3. So I. Thought it was a good deal, so I picked it up. Okay. Then I have Sender by uh, Marissa Meyer. Um, this cover is stunning. I really own this series in hardback, but I love the paperback copies because the covers are different and I just love the style of this cover much more, so <laughs> I picked it up. I know it's kind of dumb, but whatever. Um, then I have the Spanish Love Deception, and also the follow-up, The American Roommate Experiment by Elena Armas. Um, I heard mixed things about these books, but I'm still interested in reading them and see what I think about them. And then I ended up picking up Missing Dead Girls by Sarah Walters. Um, I already read this one. I ended up giving it three stars. Um, it's very queer, but it was kind of messy. So I didn't really enjoy it that much, but I thought it was a okay book. <laughs> then from my Fairy Loose's Christian, I ended up getting Spice Road by Maya 
crown pan. Um, so this is the reversible cover, but I just really prefer the character on this cover. And also these part edges are quite stunning. So I just had to get it. So I really love this edition, but I won't read this series until all the books are out just because I like reading series um, one after each other, like in the same week. So I probably won't read this for a couple years until the trilogy is done, but I really love this cover. Then I have The House of Eve by Sadqui Johnson, um, which I actually ended up reading today. and I really enjoyed it. Um, I it's a historical, which I don't really read a lot of historical books, um, but I thought this one was really well done, and I liked the writing, and um, I enjoyed it. And this is part of the artwork um, subscription. It's kind of like Book of the Month, but different, but I liked it. Uh, I gave it 3.5. I, I, there's just some points where I lost interest or kind of boring, but I don't know. I'm still trying to get into historical um, books so maybe it's just that I don't know but I thought it was pretty good though um, then I have Carne Septides um, by Rara Valentine and this cover is so beautiful I love the cover um, and yeah I don't know this is a special edition um, it's also a sign which I like it came with this bookmark um, I forgot the subscription box is for, but um, it's a special edition, so yeah. And then another special edition, I got the Elon by KD Edwards. And this is part of the Mangoth Academy um, series. This is the Rainbow Crate um, edition with these nice bright edges. Hopefully it's in focus, who knows. Um, but. It's very short. Um, it's part of the series. It's like one of the novellas or something. Um, I haven't started the series yet, but yeah, I have that. All right. And so then I got a fairly special edition of Heartstopper Volume Three, um, and these nice red edges. Um, but this one is also signed, by the way, which I like. Um, I love Heartstopper, but um, they're gonna be sending replacements of these books just because. Some of the pages are not printed all the way through. Let me see if I can find one. It was only like honestly like only like two pages where they're not printed all the way. So like right here. See how a lot of it is missing? <laughs> um so yeah there's only there's only a few pages like that. Like I think it's honestly, it's only two pages. Yeah, here's another one. See, it's like cut off right there. Um, so yeah, they're seeing replacements of these books. Um, so I'm going to be stuck with two of them, which I'm kind of happy about because then I can take the dust track off this one and it had this display like this on my bookshelf because it's just so cute. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited to get my second copy of this for free so yeah that's exciting um yeah um then for my fake crate subscription box um i got a thousand heartbeats by kira class just a different cover compared to the original and then from fox and wit i got the berry and the bound by roshki huskin and i love this edition um this cover just it brings a different vibe from the Alcade edition in the original cover. It just looks a lot creepy, so I'm really excited to read that one. And then from my um, unplug box, I'm pretty sure, we got her Buried Lives um, by Kaylin L. Duncan. Um, another beautiful special edition that I like receiving. So <laughs> there's that. So very quickly, I got some used manga. So I ended up picking up volume six and volume seven of Bloody Mary. Um, this was $3, they were both $3. So I picked them up and these were the volumes that I was missing anyways. So that's good. And then I got um, Rose and Blood volume three. And this one was $4.95. And then I ended up picking up Glass Citrum um, for $6.50. Um, and yeah, 
So those are the mangas I ended up picking up this month. Um, hopefully, I start picking up more manga. Um, I love reading manga. I love collecting manga. So hopefully next month I will have more than just these four. So yeah. Then I have Reading and Sin by Kitty Roberts. I love Kitty Roberts. I um, only read from this world, this series from her, but I read this on release day and I loved it. Um, I love her smut, <laughs> um, but they do have some plot, which I love, so yeah. And I just love the covers to these, um, so I'm excited to keep reading more Kitty Roberts. Um, I plan on reading her monster romance pretty soon this month, hopefully, and some more her other books, so yeah, I really enjoyed this one. So, having more special editions, as you can see, I mostly just buy a lot of special editions, um, but I ended up getting the Hellbent um, special editions from Illumicrate. This one is Hellbent, and they're just black straight edges, and then we have Night House, um, which again, these covers are so, I almost dropped it, but these covers are beautiful again they're just black spread edges i think they're very stunning naked as the naked hardback is quite beautiful so i love that and i just want to show you guys the hellbent one because it's also quite stunning and also love the end pages to this one so nice um i love that guys so <laughs> yeah but i'm very i was very happy to i was able to get these set um when they were released i know they sold out pretty quickly so i was pretty happy to get um both of these books then i ended up picking up these infinite um threads by tara moffy this is the illumicrate edition as well which i think is quite stunning um yeah, look at those spread edges. They're beautiful. And it's also these end pages are great. And it's also signed. Which also mine uh, tip and sheet is put on backwards. Um, but the rest of the book is like the right the right direction. It's just the sign and tip is placed in backwards. Which um, is fine. I don't care. It's, it's, it's still signed. It's just backwards. But the rest of the book is fine so i didn't complain to them about that but i thought it was pretty funny um but i'm really excited to read this um i think there's one more book in this series left and then i can start reading it um then i have another special edition is the xx by her sterling this is part of her um her romance which um series which has these nice old um ombre spread edges um i like this author um quite a bit um also this is so beautiful but yeah um i enjoy reading this series roman series um they're fun so yeah okay so down to my last three books so i received my first ever arc um i won this in a giveaway from goodreads um but it is into the life of mark oshiro um, I read a middle grade from this author last year and I really loved it, but this is a young adult horror, which I'm very excited for, but it's also very long. Um, it's 440 pages, but it's an arc and I was so excited to receive an arc, um, uh, finally. Um, it goes on sale later towards the end of March, um, so hopefully I can read it before then, um, post review on Goodreads, but I'm so excited I finally received an arc, um. But yeah, that's fun. And then lastly, the last two books that I ended up picking up this month is my Fairloot edition of the Legendborn series. Um, so we have Legendborn here, so, so pretty. Um, I think Fairloot did such a great job with these editions. Um, they're quite beautiful. Um, yeah, I love them and they're also signed by the author so I think that's pretty cool and we have blood mark here and yeah the end pages are beautiful and I love the naked hardback they're so so pretty 
Um, Fairly does such an amazing job with their additions. Um, and this one is also found by Tracy. So, yeah. Uh, I was very excited to receive these. Um, so, yeah, I'm very happy with these. So, yeah, that's everything that I ended up getting in the month of February. Um, if you read any of these books, let me know your thoughts on them. And, yeah, um, hopefully I will do another haul for March later on. But, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Um, comment below, like, and hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.